it's Abby and today I have I think around 30 random gotchas that I've accumulated over the past few months. Not gonna lie, I don't remember what's inside a lot of these, like these, I have no clue what that is. So we're just gonna start opening and see what caught my fancy. Let's start with this one. Oh, I have a funny story behind this one. So. I got this at a gacha shop and they had tons of gacha machines and I found this and I was like, oh, that's really cute. Let me get one because the whole set's kind of similar. So I thought, you know what? I don't need a full set of these. Let's let's do one. And obviously I got a really cute one, but the machine kept getting jammed and I had to call someone over and they kept fixing it, but not fixing it. So I ended up standing there for a very, very long time. And part of me was like, just reach in and give me a random one. But um, no. I had to wait and um, at the very end he ended up putting it in a different gacha machine for me to turn it it was kind of funny but anyway all is well that ends well it's a little ice cream bear isn't that adorable looks like strawberry ice cream it's a hard plastic very chunky it's kind of heavy would be a good paperweight I'm really happy with the one I got let's look at the lineup I didn't realize there was a mint chocolate one actually the vanilla one's cute too Chocolate orange and chocolate strawberry and then a vanilla. And I guess the designer is Ushito. I wonder if this is the same person that did the honey bears. Anyway, I think I got the cutest one. I wouldn't mind in mint chocolate either, but I'm very happy with my ice cream bear. I see many tiny stickers in here. Maybe we'll save that to the end. This looks like an anime figure. I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, it's the Katazun! So, this set was really cute. You guys know I collect the Katazuns, they're the little sleepy leaning figures, and I have a lot of the Disney ones. I have some anime ones, and so that's the set. And I don't really know Vocaloids. I only really know Hatsune Miku. So, I was like, you know what, I'll test my luck and just try to get Miku. And I got Ven. But looking at it now, it's actually very well made. Leave me a comment if you're a Vocaloid fan. I know that there are people out there that are major fans and can name every single Vocaloid. There's a lot of detail on this figure. Very cute. This makes me want the Miku one even more. Look at he's sleepy. Okay, we'll just put you back here. You know what? Let's put Ice Cream Bear back in here too. They can hide amongst the capsules. Hmm, I see two. Monster Balls. I know I got one recently, like a few days ago, but um, I didn't realize I already had one, so I'm wondering if they're from the same series. I went ahead and took the plastic wrap off. I know what this one is. Well, I don't know what's inside it. It's a Pokemon ring. And the case, isn't that cute? It's Piplup! And I did this gotcha because there's a really cute Pikachu. It's all right there. We can look at the lineup, but Piplup's quite cute as well. Isn't this an adorable ring case? Da -da! Isn't that cute? You guys know I like collecting fun and gimmicky rings for my unboxing videos. Let's open one of these plastic ones, um, because I have no clue what's in here. Oh! Oh, I remember these. I think I got these at Haneda Airport. It's like a Ichiban Kuji Gacha, so it's even more gambly than a normal gacha, but there are different rank surprises so a is the figure i guess there's two figures a and b eyes open and closed and then you b prize is a rubber strap and c prize is a little badge and i think these were 300 yen 400 yen probably so yeah i wanted the figure because it's adorable first one i got is a little badge she's holding her penguin anya forger I don't really have Ita bags and stuff, but I have so many like straps and pins. I feel like I should figure out some cute way to decorate them. That art is really, really cute. And it has hollow glitter on it. Can you guys see that? So that means these two are Anya's as well. We'll open them throughout the video. Let's go for, hmm, sure, let's do this one next. There's a lot of tape on it, it's heavy. Let me remove the tape. Got the tape off. Oh, it's a cat! And a box? Oh my goodness, I remember this one. 
Machibouken Neko. Three. This is the third series. Waiting cats. They look so sad. And they all come with a little box. They're waiting to be taken home. Please adopt them. Looks like I have to put this box together. Here it is. Maybe we just tape it? Actually, it looks like... Yeah, it comes with double-sided tape. Huh, that's cool. Okay, let me put this together real quick. Ta da Got the box all made. It's just a simple cardboard box. Oh, it has the fragile sticker with a kitty. And then here is the sad little... I think this is the rag doll. Look at that face. Poor little thing. Look at the paws. Toe beans. Maybe we can fold this down a little. Please take me home. Feed me. I feel like at this point I need a cat shelf for all the cat figures I have. How about we check out this one next? Let me peel all the tape off. Got all the tape peeled off. I think this is a little bakery set. It says Panya-san Mascotto 5. So there's five different items you can get. Little bread cases and then things to go in it. There's like a bread set too. J-Dream is a really fun gacha brand company. They make a lot of fun miniatures. Looks like I got the showcase with little jams. Ooh, this showcase is really nice. It's plastic, but it's made to look like wood. There's plastic in the front and a little shelf. Slide that in there. That's really nice. Oh, this will be cute for my miniatures. And then three little jars of jam. Let's look at those. When I'm out and about and just buy random gachas, I do tend to gravitate to the miniatures. Because those are my personal favorites. These jam jars look really good. Look at the tiny labels. Strawberry. What was this? Blueberry? And I'm going to guess marmalade. These are really well made. Let me put them in the shelf. My hands are shaky, but look. You can get some breads to put in the bottom there. I might have to look into getting the full set for this. I wanted to see what the quality was like, but this is really nice. And let's grab this one. It looks like we have Kirby. Have you all checked out the Kirby remit set I got? It was so cute. You guys need to see it. This is a little Kirby figure. This would actually probably go well with the remit set size-wise. Holding a little gem. I think this was a 200 yen gacha, so it was a little bit cheaper, but I find that these simple ones are really cute. I don't mind that they're cheap. I mean, I love that they're cheap. <laughs> but like, just because they're cheap doesn't mean that it's lower quality, you know? Kirby standing on his tippy toes. Look at this whole lineup though. They're adorable. Little chef Kirby. This is called Ripple Star. Air Ride Machine. They're all adorable. So it's actually a nice lineup. Five different figures you could get. And 200 yen with the exchange rate right now. I don't know how much that is, but I think it's under 2 US dollars. Let's open this Jagariko one next. I see the lid here. I'm curious. I think I got most of the tape off. Whoa, this is a big capsule. So for those of you that aren't familiar, Jagariko is a fried potato snack. They're just like sticks like this. And I didn't, I thought this was just a miniature, but I think it's a little mini game. So they're little jagaricos, and I think it's like the little pirate sword game, maybe? Oh, there's stickers too. Here's the lineup, all the different flavors. My favorite is probably cheese and salad. I don't know why they call it salad. It's just like veggie flavor, I guess. It's called jagarico shock mini. So it's a tiny size. And jagaricos are so good. If you are visiting Japan and you see a Kalbi store, you can get these freshly fried. So definitely try them out. But anyway, here's what the little game looks like. And you can put the stickers on. And oh, you turn the dial on the bottom. And then oh, you put the potatoes in and open the lid. And if they don't pop out, oh, ha. Ah. And I guess if that happens on your turn, you lose. That's fun. Honestly, I'm just excited about the packaging, but let's pop these in here. So are these going to fly out? Is this going to make a mess? Am I going to lose these? 
I'm scared. Whoa, okay, yeah, I, I don't like that. <laughs> they just went everywhere. I don't know, where did they go? I see two. We'll find the third one in a second. But anyway, without putting those in, it's just a cute keychain. I think that's how I will use it. The mini game is fun, it's very creative. But um, I like this as a miniature, isn't that cute? It's the exact same packaging. I like that they give you the stickers for the back of the label because it's usually a foil lid. And then this, there's little holes cut out for all these parts. Um, I think I'll do that later or never, but it's cool that it's so realistic. So very happy with this. There have been a lot of realistic food gotchas out there lately and I've kind of hesitated getting them because even though I know them and a lot of them are nostalgic to me, I'm like, oh, but no one in the videos will know what they are. But I might just get them anyway because we love miniatures, right? I just peeked in the capsule and I have no clue what this is. I think this is one my friend might have handed to me. It's a Digimon. I definitely didn't get this myself. It's called Digimon Adventure Oyasumi Tai. So sleepy little Digimon. Oh my goodness, there's eight in the lineup. I kind of remember this because I know, oh, they don't have pictures. There was one she wanted. But um, with eight, the odds are not in your favor. And she's like, here, you can open it in one of your videos. Here it is. Do any of you watch or have you watched Digimon? I had a little Digimon like a Tamagotchi when I was younger, but I didn't really know what it was. You guys are going to have to tell me which one this is. Looks like a beetle of some sort. Let's go for this one next. I see like a box or something in there. Oh, I think this is a miniature set as well. Let me open this up. Look at these little bins. Okay, so this is like a laundry set, I think. I see like a refill. Oh, hand soap and some wet wipes. I actually have these wet wipes. They're, they're like non-alcoholic, like safe for pets and babies. This was another one. I was very tempted to order a full set because look at all these little containers. My dream this year is to get all my miniatures set up so I can have like little dollhouse diorama type setups and display all my gotchas and figures. We'll get there. But look at how perfect that is. That's so satisfying. Anyway, let me remove all this plastic to get to the plastic and we'll see what's all in here. I rescued them. So they're little stacking tubs. Look at that. It's basically like a little remit set, honestly. And here's the deepest one. We'll put the hand soap refill in here. I think that's what it is. Softener. Oh, it's fabric softener. We'll take this one. Put the little wet wipes in. Look at those. They're so cute. Um, yeah, I don't, there must be bigger bins too. This one doesn't really fit that well. And then here's a uh, hand soap, a foaming hand soap. I feel like they've paired these together so you get other ones. There they are. This is really cute though. This will be fun for organizing my little miniatures. I'm gonna organize my miniatures before I organize my own room. Okay, what's next? Should we do this big pink one in the front here? Let's see what's in here. I think it's a cat. It says Nemui, which means sleepy in Japanese. And oh it, oh, it does show the lineup. Look at them. They're all lazy cats. I really wanted the American short hair because it looks funny. Looks like we have Hachiwara. So, fun fact. I don't know if any of you are Chikawa fans, but it's a very popular character um, in Japan right now. In Korea too, I believe. But one of the cats is called Hachiwara. And that's the type of cat that Hachiwara is because, because their fur is what it means like break or crack in the shape of an eight and it looks like the kanji for the number eight so it's hachiwade but he's a chubby kitty look at him he's sleepy look at his long tail yeah i definitely need a cat shelf i end up getting more cat gachas than dog gachas because when i get dog gachas i want to get my own dogs but they never have schnauzers that are just all gray or all white it's always the salt and pepper schnauzers so 
I never get dog stuff, but I always get the cat stuff because it's cute. I don't know if that reasoning makes sense, but it was the same when I had Lorianne too because she was a mixed breed. There were never really dogs that looked like her. I remember this one. This is another miniature one. Looks like there's some stickers in there. Oh no. I think this is a little drugstore set. Oh, maybe we don't have to cut the band-aids. But look at that. It's a little emergency kit. Um, yeah, first aid kit. In Japanese, we call it QQ Bako. Emergency box. Look at there's three different boxes and then different little medicine, band-aid, different sets you can get. So, looks like I have the band-aid set. Oh, and it comes with a little plastic bag for shopping. These honestly are really like remand sets. I need to unbox my BJDs so they can play with all these things. And this was a 200 yen gacha. That's such a good deal for like what you get. They're little sets, but totally worth it. Here's the band-aid box. I might try to flatten it a little bit before I put it together. Actually, it might be okay. I think it's fine. Band-aid box, band-aids. They're stickers, but it looks like I can just cut them out along the lines. And then they go in the box, I bet. And then maybe a roll of gauze. That's what it looks like. Little bandages. Oh my goodness, this teeny tiny tube. It says cold sores, I think. Oh, nah, and, and look at the baby scissors. Oh my goodness. I love these. Look at that. So tiny. What do you guys think? Is this worth 200 yen or nah? I'm not putting that together yet because I think I see another one there. Oh, another one here. I think I really wanted the box to put, you know, everything in. I remember getting these, but I don't remember if I got it or not. I kind of have a feeling, judging from what I see, that I didn't. Let's open these two up because these are both different kits from the same gacha. Here's the first one, or second one technically. Comes with a little bag. Oh, it's all in a bag too. I guess it's because the parts are so tiny. Oh, look at that. Some pills. Tori no ete. I don't know what that is. Mouthwash and a thermometer. And of course, a little baggy. Look how tiny! Oh my goodness, 36.3. And then this side has the little pills in it. Oh my goodness, my camera can't even focus on them. I love these. I don't even know what this is. Let me look at it. Sejoyaku, it's like for your tummy. Interesting. Oh my goodness, so tiny. No wonder they had to put it in a bag. It would have fallen out these holes. I think my light's dying. Is it just me or is it getting darker and darker? How's that? I turned it up on my camera a little bit. I think the light on my camera is dying. Anyway, here's another little baggie. Uh, did we not get a case? I'm gonna be so sad if we don't have a case. Here we have a jar of something. And then a box for the sheep. What are these called in English? You put them on like sore places, like your shoulders and... Onkan shippu. So this is like for muscle pain and stuff. Warms it up. And here are the shippu, the little patches. Oh, and some more medicine, it looks like. They look like Cheerios. And a bag of iron. Is that iron? I can't remember. Maruchi vitamin. No, what's iron? Because iron's tetsu. I forget. Anyways, a little zippy of vitamins. And another bag. We really need the case to put all this in. They're so tiny. Let's open another Anya. This feels light. I don't know if it's a rubber strap or a badge though, so let me give it a look. These are kind of hard to open. Oh, it's a badge, but it's a different one. Oh my goodness. The art on these are really cute. So I do feel like 400 yen. I'm gonna say 400 yen because I think that's what they were. Maybe they were 300 yen. But I'm gonna say 400 yen feels a little bit expensive for a little badge, but they do kind of make the art worth it. It's very pretty. Also, my light is definitely dying. I'm gonna go change the batteries. There we go, all juiced up again. Let's see what capsules we have left here. We still have quite a few more to go. Oh, you know what this is? Sorry, I'm not usually one to peek, but because I don't know what's in these capsules, I kinda have to. I think it's the box. It's a bigger capsule, so I didn't recognize it, but I think we can put our little stuff in here. Let me open it up. 
Are you ready? Look it! We got it! I kind of vaguely remember trying until I got the box, so I think I have one of everything. Obviously, I don't have all three boxes, and the pink one or the blue one would have been better, but we have all the miniatures, so I think for doing random pulls, that's a win. I think it's big enough to fit everything. Look at that. Put the bandages in there. Whatever this is in there. Whatever this is. Whatever this is. <laughs> All these things that will help you in some way. Thermometer. Scissors. Mouthwash. And let me put these boxes together real quick. Ta da! Here are the two boxes. Band-aids and sheep plaster? Not plaster. I don't know. I'll have to look at the English word. They can also go in here. We're just dumping them in. If the box closes, it's good. Look at that! And it's not gonna pop open. It's a nice clasp. So, all these little parts are safe and sound. Don't have to worry about losing them. Isn't that a fun one? I love it. We love miniatures. What next? What next? How about this pink one back here? I do not know what this one is. Pikachu! Oh, I think this was, um, this was just a random find, but it's a Narande Taiso Mascotto. Line up and exercise. So they're all doing a little exercise. I wanted Psyduck, but there's Togepi, Pikachu, Bariado, and Sonansu. Can you tell me their names in your language? And looks like we got Pikachu! Is Pikachu Pikachu in every language? In Japanese, Pika is the word for like flash or like light, and then Chu is the sound a mouse makes. Pikachu! Also, isn't there a little mouse type animal called a Pika? I'm worried if he's gonna stand up on his own because he's very tiny. Oh, he stands up. Look at him. That was a cute one. Let's move on to this one. I have no clue what's in here. Let's find out. Oh, oh, another cat. I think I have a few of these. I saw these and I was like, you know what? I have to get it. This was a really fun random find. So it's a little stand. There's tail in there. It's a cat serving coffee! How fun is that? Look at his face. A little grumpy cat. Bringing me my morning coffee. It's so perfect. Cat butler. I think this is another one. Um, you know what? I think it might be a double. I mean, it's the same color capsule. I feel like I see black. Hold on, let's open it up. This is the risk you take, yep. When you get random. Here, I'll show you the lineup. This I'll pass on to my cat friend. Not my friend who is a cat, but my friend who likes cats. So I would love to have a friend that is a cat. I really wanted the melon soda one. Look at, they're all serving different kisaten, little cafe foods, pancakes, napolitan, iced coffee, and cream soda. This whole set is so perfect. Oh, I can't believe I got doubles. I didn't even know I got doubles, so. Oh, well. Hmm, what's next? How about this one? What do you all think? Do you like these random gacha openings? I kind of enjoy them because I forget what I get. Or do you like the full sets? Those are always fun too because you get to see the whole lineup. But let me know in the comments down below what you like. I'm gonna have another random gacha opening soon. I had my Discord members, my YouTube members that are in Discord help me out. It's just easiest to coordinate that way. But if you are a YouTube member, you need to um, I can't think of the word. Basically link your Discord account and YouTube account and you'll have access to my super secret members channel. We have lots of fun over there. And even if you aren't a YouTube member, you should join my Discord because we talk about toys, food, cute things, animals, and that of course is free. So if you have a Discord account or if you don't, you can make one, it's free, and come hang out with us. While I was rambling, I got this open. It's a pizza la box, which is the Japanese version of Pizza Hut, basically. We have Pizza Hut over here, too, though. We have Pizza Hut, we have Pizza La, we have Domino's, 
different pizza companies, but Pizza La, I think, is Japanese. But look at it. It's a little pizza. It's a quarter pizza. And this set was super popular when it came out. I tried to get a full set, but it sold out instantly. So I randomly found this, and I only had enough change to get one. So I was like, you know what? One's better than none. So this is going to be a fun miniature. It's a perfect size. Very realistic, the box is. The pizza itself is a little bit plasticky, but you know what, who cares? It's still very detailed though. I don't know what flavors these are, but four different flavors. Did it come with the lineup? The lineup has five different pizzas. Let's see if they're pictures. No. That is a lot of small letters and words. I wonder if they're sold in other countries too. It's different countries and distributors. Interesting. Let's open this other Pokemon one. Let's see if I got a different ring. I don't know if you noticed, but my Piplup ring is gone. I took it off when the doorbell rang and I had to answer the door, but... No! <laughs> I don't know where my Piplup is. Oh. Another double! And the funny thing is, I got these on two different days from two different machines. Well, hopefully I have a friend that likes Piplup. Anyway, I was saying, I took my Piplup ring off and I don't know where I set it down because I was like running to the door and I was like, oh no, my ring! But I guess I have a spare now. Anyway. Oh, let's open the last um, Anya one. Hmm. It, it feels like, I don't think it's the figure. I have never gotten first prize out of these like Kuji type gachas. Oh, at least it's a different pin. Look at her with her sparkly eyes. Anya is so adorable. Are all of you caught up on the anime? I still need to watch through season two. I think I'm like three episodes in. I need to sit down and binge it. Does it say the odds on here? Like how many are in a set? Two figures, four rubber mascots, four, oh, eight badges. But I assume they have multiples, right? I don't know how many capsules are in one of those buckets in the machines, but there's 14 different things total. I would assume there's like at least two sets in there. Well, we got three out of the eight. Let me know if you think this gamble is worth it or not. Hmm, I don't know what this is. Super Mario Fashion Ring Collection. Looks like I might have a new ring to wear. I don't remember getting this. Can you guys see what it is? It's a red shell! Oh, this is not an adjustable ring. I don't know if this is gonna work for me. Oh, it's rubbery. I'm gonna put it on my pinky though, just in case. That is a chunky, chunky ring. Kind of an interesting angle to have it at. I almost would have liked to have it like this. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's funny. Red shell ring. Oh, the mushrooms would have been cute. Oh, and the star. Oh my goodness, any of these actually. <laughs> The green shell is okay too. Oh my goodness, anything but the shells. I don't even remember when I got this, so I feel like these aren't even available anymore. I bet they came out when the movie came out, so maybe they're still around. If I see them again, I'll grab another and try to get the mushroom maybe. I was hoping the ring box would stand up, but nope. <laughs> okay, let's open this. This looks like a little snacky miniature. It's Harvest. These crackers are so good. They're just thin, very thin crackers. I think they're wheat crackers, but they have sesame seeds on them and they're so good. I love them. They're very buttery, I feel like. I think they come in other flavors as well, but this flavor is my favorite. Harvest sesame flavor. I haven't had these in so long. They look like this. They're just thin crackers. They're so good. They're a little sweet, and this is what the packaging looks like. I definitely need more miniature food, the realistic ones. This one I saw on Twitter, and I randomly saw it when I was out, and it's a little umbrella. Isn't that cute? And then it comes with a folded version too. Da -da! Isn't that cute? I obviously got the orange one. It looks so realistic. It doesn't close or anything, it's, you know, just like this, but it would be fun to give this to a little figure to hold. And then here is the folded version, so you have both. I really like this set. I think this was a 200 yen gacha as well. Maybe it was 300. Let's look and see. Oh, never mind, it was 300. 
But look at, there's eight different capsules you could get. Oh, I want the pink and blue umbrella. And then look, it comes with a stand. Isn't that fun? I want a stand. June is rainy season here in Japan, so I'm sure they made this for rainy season. Let's do the little one and then we'll do the tedious one. I think this is another container like this one. Let's see what's inside. Oh, tiny, tiny pieces. What is that? And looks like these are long containers. Look at a toothbrush, a hair clip, toothpaste. I still don't know what that is in there. Let's open it up in the cup. It's a tube of just like cream, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it says eye cream. It's so tiny. Cup. It's a little bathroom set. Whoa. Toothpaste. Am I even in focus? Hair clip to get your bangs out of the way. And then the little containers. Here they all are. They're so white. They're very bright. Very teeny tiny containers. You can put your cream in there, your toothpaste in there, your little hair clip. Just fun little miniatures. If you had a little kitchen or bathroom, I think these would be fun to use. Look at this. It's like Muji. I'm gonna have to figure out a good home for these. And then last but not least, can you tell what it is from the stickers? I think it's a miniature gacha machine. I have a set of the colored gacha machines and I have a bunch of the Pokemon ones, but I think this was a, uh, it was like retro gacha. It was like gacha pwn machines over the years. Oh my goodness, my light just fell over. Work with me light, it's just one more capsule. Here's the stickers. Um, and here's the machine. This is smaller than the one I have, I think. Oh no! I think my light is giving up. These are the 1 12th scale. I think mine might be 1 6th scale. I'm not sure. I'll have to put them side by side and compare sometime. But um, 1 12th Gashapon Station. These are the different years they came out. And I think I have the 2021. I have the new... Oh no, these are all from 2020. But this is like the old school one. Lots of tiny stickers to put on. I will go do that. Let me know in the comments though if you like watching me build these kind of tiny things because in my last remit video you guys said you liked the paper crafts so I don't know. I feel like I get mixed opinions every time I do like slower builds. People are like we don't want to see you make it. We just want to see the finished product. So let me know. But I'll go build this one real quick right now. My light did not want to get fixed, so I'm going to have to work on that another time. But here's the sticker sheet. Look at how tiny. And also, this is overwhelming. They're giving me too many decisions to make. Like what sticker I want inside the machine, how much I want it to cost. Um, so I did put it together and I put the little capsules together. But I will stop here for now because I am overwhelmed. I need to think about this. I think we had a very successful gotcha opening today. Let me know what type of gacha was your favorite. I think my favorite from today. I mean, I love all the miniatures. I think it's pretty obvious what I like. The random gachas that I accumulated. Anyway, like I said, my next gacha video, I'm going to be having my Discord YouTube members pick my gachas. So if you want to be a part of that and participate, you can become a YouTube member. I have multiple tiers, so it's not that inaffordable and it helps me out very, very much. And we have a fun time together, so I will see you all next time. And of course, as always, you can leave requests in the comments down below because I read all of those and I'll do my best to find what you guys are interested in. I'll see you all next time. Bye!